What is up everybody, Jarrett from Empire of Essence here and I have a video I am very excited to shoot today. I have been waiting for this package in the mail for quite some time. Have been following the release of this brand new trading card game for probably close to a month now. I will give you guys a little, little sneak peek here if we check out this tape. If you can see what is written on there. It is Meta Zoo, a new game that just released uh, last week, I want to believe. Um, you could, it was funded by Kickstarter. So to kind of explain the packs that are out there, there is some special promo packs. There's a Christmas pack from this year. There's a New Year's pack. There's a couple of those cards listed on eBay if you want to check them out. Just do, uh, just search Meta Zoo. There's not that much stuff that comes up right now and you will see those. Then they did a Kickstarter fundraiser. It, depending on how much you donated, you could get um, booster boxes. So there's Kickstarter cards that have a small KS in the side. And then um, we have what I have here, which is just regular first edition stuff. This is still available for purchase on the MetaZoo Marketplace website. I am not affiliated with MetaZoo in any way. Just really excited. What is MetaZoo? MetaZoo is a new trading card game that is all based on cryptids or basically different mythical creatures from um, this set is all north america so there's things like bigfoot um, mothman different the chupacabra i believe is in there um, sort of in a pokemon-ish card there's holographics there's regular cards super excited to um, show you guys what i got and then we are going to crack some packs open and see what the cards look like so first thing uh, we got this box. It's a pretty small box in all actuality. Um, so if we go to the paper, we have this blister pack. These are $4.99. Um, see if I can get it in the light there. And it comes with the Mothman. Um, I believe that's a promo card. Um, if you order, oh, maybe it's just a regular card. But Mothman is supposedly um, from the creator of the game is going to be the sort of Charizard um, from this original first edition set. Also, you can see right there, if we get it real close, there is a first edition stamp. A uh, little tough to focus there. And then there's a plain coin, and there is one blister in there. That is $4.99 right now on the um, MetaZoo Marketplace website. You can still order these first edition. They are not sold out as of this video, so if you're interested, Check those out. Then we have the first edition booster box. This is actually a lot smaller than what I thought. I've never actually held a booster box of any kind before. This is my first. Um, it's got nice, it's got a seal on the box, which is cool. Um, and then it's also got this MetaZoo um, wrapping around it. Definitely seems to be tamper proof. Um, you can see on the back, this set is called Cryptid Nation. Um, in its first edition, so pretty neat there. It's not the Kickstarter box, so there is, I believe there was 2,000 Kickstarter boxes made. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. Maybe I will look up some numbers. Um, I don't think the print release is out on these yet. Um, actually, I just noticed that this box does have a K in it, so maybe it is a Kickstarter box. Not 100% sure there. That would be pretty cool if it was a Kickstarter box because those are super limited. This is not going to be open. This is gonna be stayed sealed in my collection that hopefully someday it is worth the price of a first edition Pokemon box. That 1.4 million that Logan Paul just got. But we can't, <laughs> can't expect that for a very long time. But definitely a cool piece in my sealed collection. I can say I was in at the launch of the game. Then we have what I will be opening, which is called a Spellbook. Oh, also, the um, booster packs are $99.99 on the website, which I think is a little steep for a brand new card game. But obviously, cards are the hottest thing right now. Um, I don't think they'll have any problem selling them, especially once the game gets a little marketing, gets a little hype behind it. But they are kind of expensive at $100 for a booster box. Then we have the Spellbook here. Um, this contain oh and the the booster pack has or the booster box has 36 blisters in it. I'm not sure how many. Let's see if we can check on here. Um, this doesn't say how many cards are in a blister pack. We will find out in a little bit. 
Um, this has 10 uh, boost or yeah, 10, 10 packs in it. Um, as you can see, first edition stamp there. It's a spell book, so I think it contains some other things. Oh, here we go. 10 booster packs, uh, one sealed holographic promo card, a medallion coin, a rule book, 60 sleeves, and a cryptid map. So that should be pretty cool to open. These are $49.99 or $39.99, either 30 or either 40 or 50 bucks. Not a hundred percent sure. Um, also available for sale on the website. And um, the reason I'm ripping this instead of the, the booster box, obviously booster boxes are kind of the crown jewel when it comes to keeping stuff sealed. And I don't wanna rip a hundred dollar box when we don't know the value of the secondary market on the cards. Whereas this for half the price or 40% of the price and you still get 10 packs and some other cool stuff. You get that promo card to look at. So excited for that. And then if you order right now while they are still doing this, you do get this special um, release event metal card. It doesn't, I'm not super impressed with the packaging or the, the bend in the card there, but it looks pretty clean if we look at it. Um, maybe I just got kind of a tougher one, but there doesn't seem to be any whitening or anything, so the card could probably still grade. The cards can be graded at BGS. Uh, Beckett does have a setup with MetaZoo to grade the cards. They are the first and only ones right now. I'm sure the other companies will do it if the game gains enough steam, but you can get them graded. I have not seen any cards graded so far, I don't think. Um, so possibly a good opportunity there. Buy the cards, rip them, send them in, have the first graded MetaZoo cards. Just a possibility, throwing that out there. Anyways, the release event medal, definitely a super cool card with the Mothman and then this sort of holographic trophy medal on it. Um, definitely will be keeping that sealed. Pretty cool, definitely worth placing an order. I don't think there's a minimum. If you do $100, you get free shipping right now, but there is no minimum to get this card. So maybe I'll have to put in another order to get another one of these. Pretty sweet, and I am cool to see the first card. Now we are going to switch over. You guys will be seeing my hands, and let's rip open some packs. As promised, my hands, and we are going to open this box. I do not open very much sealed product ever. Um, I just don't like the loss of value that comes with it. So I am really excited to open this because I don't open stuff very often. So let's crack it open and see what we have. Definitely seems to be really good security on the boxes, um, including this cool MetaZoo first edition Cryptid Nation seal. Um, I definitely think that there's less worry then about the boxes getting opened down the road, which is nice. Let's cut open the seal there. Oh, geez, and then I cut the box. Rookie mistake. It's a tough seal. So, if we open it up, it looks like on the top, we have the map, which I will, oh, it's a very large, which is super cool. I'm really excited to look at this. Maybe put this up in the background. But as you can see, they have all the different cryptids from where they are located throughout um, the United States. So, um, then they also have locations. Massacre Rock, Restricted, Area 51, these weird leg people. <laughs> um, if we go to my home state of Wisconsin, we actually have quite a few. I forget uh, this guy's name, but he is from Rhinelander, Wisconsin. Wildwood Cemetery, it looks like. Devil's Lake is on there. Definitely some cool things. A really nice piece that comes with this. Uh, definitely worth it. And then as you can see below, they actually have the, I believe that's the set list of the cards. So they have all 110 cryptids listed out so that is the map let's move on to the next piece of the spell book and that appears to be 
a rule book for playing the game. Um, unfortunately, I am just a filthy collector and investor, not a player, so probably doesn't pertain to me super much, but cool nonetheless. Here is the promo card. Um, says Cryptid Nation on it with a really beautiful, I like the holographic with all the little stars on it. Very cool, a very pretty background, and then it has a bunch of the different characters on here. So there is, appears to be some sort of human. Then you got the Mothman up here, an alien spaceship. Um, some guy shooting a bow, looks like an armadillo or a hedgehog, porcupine maybe, shooting a bow. Pretty neat. Um, this one seems to be in a little better shape, not quite as bent as the last one, um, but definitely a cool promo card. Then we have the sleeves, um, which appear to be pretty nice. They look decent quality. If we open these up, we can see what we have. Oh, those are pretty nice. They feel a little bit, eh, they're not bad. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about the quality. They're definitely wider than like a normal Pokemon sleeve, um, but I'm sure the cards fit in there just fine. So maybe we will try one out, but pretty cool nonetheless with the orangish and the yellow or the red and the yellow. A cool thing with the little 2020 uh, logo at the bottom. And then we have, well, I guess let's get through the coin. This coin appears to be, feels like real metal maybe. Nothing, nothing too crazy, but the first edition MetaZoo Cryptid Nation coin. Pretty cool. And then what everybody wants to see, we have the 10 booster packs. It looks like I only got one Mothman art, which is a little bit sad. So it looks like we have Babe the Blue Ox, Mothman, Babe the Blue Ox, Babe the, uh, this is the Hodag, that's what it is, from Rhinelander, Wisconsin. It's called the Hodag, pretty cool dragon looking mythical creature. Um, no idea the name on these guys, but pretty cool. We have another Hodag and one more Babe the Blue Ox. So only one Mothman, we're going to save him for the end. Let's start with some Babe the Big Blue Oxes. I'm going to have to get some scissors if they're all this hard. Holy smokes. Did not anticipate that. <laughs> all right. I don't know if it's three to the front. I don't know what the trick is. But we have Miracle Touch, Ice Storm, the Enfield Monster. Cool artwork there. The Gumbaroo, Space Penguins. It's kind of neat. And I really enjoy the uh, the comments on these. First discovered by casters who investigated claims, penguins started to fly following the shattering of the veil. That's like some of the game information. Um, the veil and casters, I believe, is who plays the game. Pass trap. There's spells. Um, a giant salamander. I believe there is, there's like four different play decks. I believe there is a giant salamander play deck that you can order. Um, also, you can see the K. So this is a Kickstarter box. Um, not sure if it should be a Kickstarter box. Definitely super cool to get the Kickstarter cards. Hopefully we get some cool hollows. Frost Aura. And the very first pack, we pull the Mothman Holographic Kickstarter card. It does not get any cooler than that. I am going to grab, well, let's put it in our MetaZoo sleeve. What a sick pull out of only 10 packs that we had in the very first pack. They say last pack magic, but let's talk about first pack magic. It does have what looks to be a little spot. Yeah, if it's, I don't know if that's a printer hickey or what that is. So definitely probably would not grade a 10, but a very cool card nonetheless. And especially cool for our first pack. The odds of a holographic are one per out of every three packs. Same as like vintage base set Pokemon. Let's set him up in the background here. So you can, we'll leave him there for the rest of the video. 
Um, moving on to the next pack. I don't know any of the value on any of these cards. Um, none of them really have values established yet because the game is so new. Um, some of the promos were selling for, I mean, I think they sold originally uh, for 99 cents. And some of them were selling for as high as $40 on eBay um, when I last looked, which is pretty crazy. Um, it appears, too, that there is no real trick. And there is different rarities of the cards. I'm not sure how to tell which rarity the card is, if there's rares or different things. But we have an Earthquake spell, a Lava Bear, a Bunny Man, Necromancy, Morphous, Power Up Blue, Transfiguration, a Holographic. Oh, this is a Reverse Holographic. There is Reverse Hollows. You can see the backgrounds shiny instead of the cryptid that is a slide rock bolter reverse holographic i don't think our first pack had a holographic which is interesting um oh and you can see the star here so maybe that is something to do with the rarity and in the back it looks like we have a full art ocean card i'm not sure if this is similar to like a lands card in magic the gathering um but Pretty cool artwork on that guy, nonetheless. And then nice sl slide rock bolter. Um, if I don't put these cards in sleeves right now, I do have sleeves waiting. So as soon as the video is done, they will be getting sleeved up. So no need to worry about that. There is a need to worry about my struggling to get packs open though. Holy smokes, it's brutal. All right, guys, technical difficulty there, but we are back with some scissors. Man, it doesn't feel like you got a lot of room there. So we are just going to just barely take off the top. We have an Earthquake Spell, Paralyze, Exploding Mine, Anti-Magic Field, Crossroads with a cool Moon Man. Definitely say the artworks are unique on these cards. Pretty cool. Field Fire Trap, Stone Skin, Metal Man of Alabama, Reverse Holographic Card. Pretty cool. And in the back, a full art light aura. We have Earthquake, Pass Trap, Earthquake again, Water Gun, Dragon's Breath. A lot of spells. Spells must be pretty important in the game, I'm assuming, because we are getting large amounts. A Power Up Blue, a Reverse Hollow Lizard Man of Scape or Swamp. Pretty cool looking guy there. And in the back, we have Farm. Paralyze, Pass Trap, Pyrokinetic Blast, Reflection, Frost Aura, Reverse Hollow Lightning Glass. Kind of neat. That is an artifact. Interesting that it was in a different spot. That was in the third to last spot instead of the second to last spot. Then we have a Dragon's Breath. And, oh, a Power Up Blue. And a Luck Potion in the back. That pack seemed to be all sorts of scrambled up. And we have the Sam's Floor Leaf Clover. Kind of a neat card with St. Patrick's Day coming up. The Shadow People card. The Silver Cat card. Space Penguins. <laughs> Morpheus, Power Up Blue, Power Up Green, Desert, which is normally these have been in the last spot, so that's a little different, and a Reverse Holographic Metal Man of Alabama, our second one of those. So, so far our only hollow is the Mothman, definitely um, the most excited about that one, and supposedly the best card in the set. We'll see how that changes. Up, Giant Salamander, Grounding, Haste, Health Potion, Power Up Blue, Power Up Green, Proton Beam, kind of neat. Forest Aura with a wicked printer line down it. Have noticed that the quality of the cards definitely has a little bit of issues to be expected in a first edition run. And a Bat Squash holographic in the back so we are keeping 
pace with our numbers. Super cool card there. We have River Dinos, Rumpust Fusil, Four Leaf Clover, Shadow People, Stone Skin, The Spookster, Squonk, which is a funny looking guy there. Ooh, another holographic. The Lizard Man of Swamp Scale. Or we did get a reverse hollow of this, but this is our first holographic. And as you can see, it has the star, so I'm assuming it's a rare card. And in the back, we have the full art nighttime. Cactus Cat, Earthquake, Exploding Mine, Fireball, Funeral Mountain, Terra Shot, Gluttony, Hide Behind, a Reverse Hollow Holy Gem, pretty neat, and a Full Art Daytime card. This has been MetaZoo Spell Book Pack opening. Get you guys to see that. Uh, first edition Kickstarter box. Pretty cool. We pulled supposedly the most valuable card in the set, so we are going to stop there. If you guys liked the video, please consider liking. Um, if you want more content like this, leave me a comment. Let me know. Consider subscribing. I would be happy to do more comment. I like looking at new games like this. Um, should you be investing in this? Um, to throw 100 200 depending on what your budget is, a couple hundred bucks at it and just sit on the stuff and see what the returns are over the next couple months, um, over the next year. Definitely, if you put uh, just a little bit of money in it, it's pretty low risk, really high upside with the way other card games have going. I think the game has a cool art, could have a really strong following, so definitely worth checking out. Um, if you just search MetaZoo and go to the MetaZoo Marketplace, you can buy all this stuff for yourself. So check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will catch you on the next one.